data flow diagram shows a business process at some indeterminate level of detail. As indicated above, some of the processes might be very global, whereas others are very specific. If you need to understand how a process works in detail, you can explode it to see its internal processes. Because the DFD does not differentiate levels of detail, these subprocesses are simply processes that are at a lower level of detail. Each of these internal processes creates and consumes specific data. If you draw a data flow diagram at this more detailed level, you will see internal data flows and data stores that are more specific and detailed as well. Any process at any level of detail is a potential candidate for exploding. The only factor to consider is whether you understand the process sufficiently to predict how change will affect it. A DFD serves multiple purposes. You might create one to be able to analyze the current situation with the goal of identifying roadblocks and improving efficiency. You might also create one to present and discuss the process with others. You could create a DFD of a proposed business process before you developed detailed processes and supporting IT applications to identify potential issues before they occur. Its principal use is presumably to identify, document, and communicate stakeholder requirements for an IT project. Fundamentally, there are two good reasons why you need a diagram. First off, people can point to the diagram to discuss a process or flow instead of using words to describe what they mean. The diagram represents a visual mode of communication, which all studies show is much more effective than mere words. Pointing power proves that it works. Secondly, studying the diagram generates questions that might indicate missing steps or external entities. If the diagram piques your curiosity, it is well worth your while to investigate the situation to find an answer.